Welcome back. Into the woods. I'm joined with by Justin. Hello. And Angelo. Hey. <laughs> Alex couldn't make it today. Yeah, because he's a snot nosed prick. <laughs> could have made it. He could have made it. He texted us what four or five? No, like six hours ago, and he was like podcasting tonight. I said, if I'm home, and I'm home, yeah, pretty we early, home early enough. Made. Yeah, Alex said he's not making it. Or Spider said he's not making out. No, yeah, Justin did. So, Alex, we're going to start by saying F you. <laughs> you could have been here, pal. You could have stayed for like 10 minutes and then left. That would have been fine. Yeah, but Alex is Alex. He's not going to do that. He's a prick. He does that on PlayStation all the time, though. Yeah, he'll be like, yo, you guys playing tonight? I'm like, yeah, dude, we're on COD right now. Come play with us. And then he'll be like, all right, nah, comes bad. on. Plays one game of Team Deathmatch where we join halfway through the game, and he's like, I think I got one more game in me. I'm like, what? <laughs> Happens what? all the time. You just you just got on. What are you talking about? You have one more game in you. He's like, yeah, no. I think I only got one more game in me, guys. It's as if video like, games what? exhaust him now. Yeah. I think he's just well, he's, a moron. He is two years older than us. So, oh, that's two, three, three years older than us. Mm-hmm, three. Mentally, it's like a five-year-old, but... Yeah, mentally, he's nowhere near the capacity that we are. <laughs> so, but, yeah. We've known Alex since... How long? I, I've known Alex since 2012. So, yeah, I like think Christmas of 2012. 2013, 2014 is when I yeah. met Alex. Probably 2013, Minecraft, because that's... We, start, we met 20... Christmas time, twenty twelve, playing like NHL or something, and then switched over to Minecraft for the most part. Yeah, and then we so, did Call of Duty for a while. And then Call of Duty, which he's still god awful at. Yeah, I don't know how he could be so bad still. I honestly, you, you, you're only that bad on like your first couple of Call of Duties, and then after that, you should be well enough on your way to not <laughs> be not that sucking. bad. <laughs> like, like that's just really bad. I think his KD is like a point three on the uh, Call of Duty. It's lower than that. It's like a point oh two or something like that. Oh my god, I'm mad, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Uh anyway, what's going on? <laughs> How are we doing? Uh, just took a massive that shit. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. We had a a nice two and a half hour ride home. Yeah, and I was gassed the car the entire way. You were, and it was disgusting. And I, I had to drive. We were, I think, honestly, we were both pretty exhausted. We're both pretty drained right now, but, uh, yeah, I had to drive back from Pennsylvania. We were, we were in Pennsylvania visiting my friend for his birthday, and let's just say we had a long weekend. <laughs> Got really, really messed up. Really messed up. Undefeated beer pong chant. Let's go. Okay, yeah, you were undefeated in a beer pong, but we beat you four to one in flip cup. But we celebrated harder than you guys did. So absolutely not, dude. Me, <laughs> it was me, Kevin, and I think uh, who was next to me, Drew. No. To my immediate left, next. it wasn't Drew. Might have been Drew. It was either Drew or Josh. No, or did was, I have Josh? No, I had Josh. You had Josh. It was either Drew or Cam because Tyrese was on the end. Yeah. It was Drew or Cam. It, literally, Kevin and then me and then Drew or Cam literally flipped the cup on the first try in a row. One round. Totally smoked you guys. Yeah, it was bad. And then fucking Tyler took like 16,000 tries to flip the cup once. Tyler. Oh yeah, that yeah he did. He took forever. He how really many, slowed us down. How many rounds did it take Ricky to even get, get to drink? Get, get a sip in. Uh, <laughs> to the last round, which had to start first. No, no, it was like uh, round two, I think. Maybe maybe three, because uh, who was it? I was I was paired up with who? Ethan. Yeah. It might have yeah. been after. It might have been after Ethan. Whoever the third go was, might have. It might have been him. <laughs> uh, Josh was uh, the third guy. Yeah. I didn't get the drink on the third round. 
<laughs> on the second, on the second and third round, I didn't get the drink. Oh, at all. you know what I think it was? I think on the third round, I think, um, I think Ricky got the drink, but we just won. Yeah, and Ricky flipped it just as you guys had won. Yeah, so it was like not even worth so it. I was like, well, damn it. <laughs> that was really fun, though. Yeah, it was. The pong thing was around the track. The pong thing was ridiculous. Yeah, dude, I was hitting nasty shots. No, I I mean the last game that I played yeah. with, with Josh. <laughs> you were up. You had you had. We were up at least six cups. Yeah, and then <laughs> and then <laughs> just come back and we're just sniping them. <laughs> ridiculous. Yeah, we it was like we all we all had one cup each at the end. I think right. Um. Both had one at the, cup at the very one. very end, yeah, we we both had one cup. And then me and Kevin just sank them. Sank it both. I was so mad. That was so upsetting. Uh, that uh, was fun. We definitely can do that again. Beer pong either, for your, either for your birthday or mine. Um, well, my birthday is on a Tuesday. Okay. But we could celebrate on a weekend. That's true. But who, with who and where? Uh, I don't know. Because as much as I would love to go back up there, I don't know if I want to take it three-hour drive for my birthday weekend. Yeah. Definitely not. But definitely we not. Could, we could just do it with people here. We could have uh, Bookman, Steve. Steve. You know, damn well, if we do Flip Cup, Steve's on my team. <laughs> <laughs> Steve good at Flip Cup? Uh, he's good at... Steve if it involves alcohol. <laughs> high-functioning alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> He is. He's drunk ninety nine percent of the time. He, he really is. Yeah. It's kind of bad. Yeah. Yeah, but we could definitely have. We could definitely throw a banger. Yeah, Justin, you want to come? Probably. I mean, I would. I, I do. I would definitely come to something. Would you for your birthday? Would you play flip cup? You gotta play flip, flip cup? cup and beer cup. I have. I know how to play beer pong, but not flip cup. All Frank, right. Can you flip the cup? It's instead? pretty. It's pretty simple. You have like. What would you say, Angela? Maybe like a shot's worth of like a beer in like a cup? Yeah. If that... Is that... And you start with... Like we had five people. So you line up on both sides of a table. And um, so pretty much you dr- you drink and you put the cup on the edge of the table and you have to flip it from the bottom to make it land on the top. And as soon as the person next to you does it, then you go. Then you have to flip it. Then the next person goes, next person goes. And then whichever team finishes first wins. Oh. Yeah, that's flip cup. You can have easy. as many people as you want, though. It, the team's kind of got to be even, so. Yeah. Have people. But um, some people do it where you do a slip and slide first. And yeah, I've seen that. that. I've seen that. Up. That would be. That we could do, like, over the summer. Just. Yeah. For fun. And then. Do like a, an obstacle course to, to do it, like uh, that, that a would relay. be so cool. Like uh, we could we could get one of those inflatable ones that cost like three thousand yeah. dollars. <laughs> That's not happening. I know it's not. We can we can do the big. I uh, oh, can't remember when we were in Dicks and we not Dicks. Uh, no, it was Dicks and we saw the big ass beer pong things. No. Like, oh like oh, a, oh oh uh, for the pool. Yeah. Yeah, I do remember. That we can we do. Get that. Yeah, I'm down for that. It'd be such it would be such more fun game because the targets are actually moving. It's fucking be awesome. yeah, yeah. Um, no, but yeah, Kevin's friends were cool. That was my first time meeting them. They were pretty cool. Yeah, Drew's my favorite. Tyler, <laughs> I don't like. I because probably because I dated one of his exes, but. I just felt like he was very detached from the others. He is he was gone ninety nine percent of the time. Yeah, and and but like when we were out too, he was not. Yeah, he was Cam, in his own little. Cam is more like a private person. Yeah, I was gonna say he's like a closet funny kind of guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you look yeah, at him, I you wouldn't him. expect him to be that funny, but he's actually really hilarious. His mustache is glorious. Absolutely, <laughs> it's my favorite. I wish I could grow a mustache as cool as that guy. I shaved my mustache like that before I shaved the whole thing. Remember, I grew it out for like a couple months. Yeah. And I had it like that, and everybody ragged on me for it. It looks exactly the same. His was a little better. Yeah. <laughs> He's been growing his since he was like 
Two. Two. <laughs> That's been growing for a while, and he grooms it so nice. Yeah, he does. 100% oils that every morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wish there were more girls. It's kind of a sausage fest, but... Say that again, you cut out. Said I wish there was more girls, though. It's kind of a sausage fest. Yeah. How many people... There were, like... Eight guys and two girls. Yeah, it was me and you, time. Kevin. Me, you, Kevin, Drew, Tyler, Cam, Josh. Josh Ethan. showed up. Ethan, Tyrese, uh, Tyrese, and then Ricky, and then and Ricky and Aaron. Aaron. Yeah, and then that other girl that was there for like two seconds and left. What other girl? Oh, oh yeah. What was her name? She literally, like, she literally introduced herself and left. I was like, like hey, bye-bye. Like, like, where the fuck are you going? She was like, hey, I'm whatever her name was. They are like, hey, what's up? Nice to meet you. And she's like, all right, later, guys. I was like, what? For, like, for this, for, for our coming, I guess? her name is Tiffany, until we figure out what her actual name is. Oh, uh, I was going to say Rebecca. Oh, I like Tiffany better. That's fine. Hmm. I, don't, I don't know. But, yeah. It was fun. Down, downside is I have a girlfriend, so. Oh, I mean, another downside is my back is going to be stiff for the next three days. Yeah, we slept on floors. We slept, we slept on solid concrete floors, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> concrete with, like, a thin layer of <laughs> carpeting of over carpet, it. carpet, yeah. <laughs> Should have definitely brought the air mattress. Yeah. The sleeping bag was fine, Justin, but it wouldn't... It, it wouldn't have helped There's no question. There was no question. Right. So. It was fun, though. It was. I gave myself a concussion. Yeah, he fucking jumped into a beam. <laughs> you jumped into what? A beam. There was a low-hanging ceiling at one of the bars we went to. And he, he there was a bop going on. And can he jump? I, I was things. trying to hype Kevin up. <laughs> And then you hit your head. Yeah. Hard. I rocked my head. Yeah. Oh. And, and like the a... funny thing is, I hit my head so hard that I was like, there's definitely going to, it's definitely going to hurt so bad in the morning. Nothing. Nothing <laughs> at all. Oh, I hit my head so hard. Yeah, they, dude, there was like a foot between the top of your head and the beam, and you jumped like you were jumping five feet in the air. I know. I was really trying to hype Kevin up because that random guy came over. Yeah, I, I came back from getting my credit card. Uh -huh. <laughs> There's a random guy in the group. I'm like, who the fuck is this? Yeah, he walks over to me. He's like, because there was like a group of like girls dancing around this one guy. Mm -hmm. And he goes, he comes up to me. He goes, so what are the moves? I'm like, what? He goes, so what's the moves? And he's like pointing at them. I'm like, I don't know, man. I think that guy's got it, you know, on lockdown right now. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, he saw Kevin. He's like... Uh, he goes, I bet you could take that. Go in there. Get in there. And then everybody started doing, like, the jump, like, the bop. Yeah. And I was getting super hyped up because I thought Kevin was actually going to go in. <laughs> and I rocked my head. <laughs> it hurt so oh, bad. Oh, man. It hurt really bad. And then I ran on the track with yeah. uh, Tyler and Ethan. Right side is nobody threw up, so. Yeah, but Tyler also ran into a little cross net because he somehow didn't see it. How did he not see it? I don't know. How do you not see a lacrosse net? The lights were weren't on, but still, I mean, I saw it. <laughs> Tyler is just some other kind of special. So, you know, what? I don't, I don't understand either because their track is only three lanes, mm -hmm. and the lacrosse net was in lanes two and three. He was in lane one. <laughs> I and was in two, drifted. and Ethan was in three. How did he get into two or three and hit into the lacrosse net? <laughs> I don't know. The world will never know. Good thing it was only three of you that you guys <laughs> that went over to the uh, track, though. Yeah. A perfect amount of lanes. Yeah. If we could have we done, like, a relay to start tagging people in. <laughs> yeah. That would have been funny. And then my, my ex walked in on the... <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. I, I didn't... I noticed her. I didn't want to say anything, though. Yeah, dude. You, you. you guys came in like a second after. I was like, she, she goes, hey. I was like, hi. Yeah. She goes, you're not Cam. I was like, nope. 
So she yeah, ran and gave him a little hand awkward. Hug. So it's fun times. It's kind of awkward. It was. I was trying to keep your com conversation going, but it wasn't really how it was working out. So uh, I noticed. Yeah, I don't know since when she drools, though. That's a new. Yeah, well, that I would have known. Anyway. But, um, Ricky's fun. Ricky's fun. Yeah, she's cool. Follow me on Instagram, like, as soon as we left. Yeah, she does that. She she I followed like, me on Snapchat the last time. I was like, time wow, I saw that her. was really quick. <laughs> yeah. Don't ask her how she finds you so fast. I don't know if she asked Kevin or I think it was because you. Kevin probably I think it was from the post that Kevin made. It could be. Of us. Could but, be. You know. Uh -huh. It's whatever. Uh, she'll get over it. <laughs> she'll get over it. <laughs> eh, she'll get over it. Now, did you swipe on Tinder at all while you were up there? I did not. Why not? Because I didn't feel like it. Dude, if you did, you would got so many matches. I know, because literally as soon as, like, when you were driving in, as soon as we crossed the Pennsylvania border, and it literally happened last time, too, as soon as we crossed the border, it blows up. <laughs> yeah, that's usually how it works. And I don't know why. They don't miss you till you're gone. What happened? They don't miss you till you're gone. Yeah, but it's not the New York ones. It's the Pennsylvania ones. I know. That's what I'm saying. You left the New York ones and they started liking you. Get. They were like, <laughs> maybe. Damn, should have swiped on him while he was here. I left on the new. I left New York, and all the Pennsylvania ones were like, yes. And I was like, what? Hello. New York. New York holds higher standards. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. Pennsylvania, I'll just take what you get, so you don't have to fuck <laughs> yeah. your <brother> or sister. <laughs> take what you can get, <laughs> pretty much. That's Pennsylvania for you. I still love that state. Yeah, you're moving there, right? Huh? I hope so. I have to yeah. find a job that will take me. You most likely will. And where, where, like, where are, are you trying to go? There. Like, what, uh, what area are you trying to live in? Like, does it matter, or like? It doesn't matter. To like me, close to New York or like No, absolutely as not. Far away as, as you far can away get. from New York as possible. <laughs> Try to go towards Somewhere Pittsburgh. towards Ohio. Yeah. Yeah. That or Texas. <laughs> that or Texas. Allen. Decisions, decisions. I don't have that problem. I plan on staying here. Enjoy my guns. You can enjoy guns here too. We should go to the shooting range again. Yeah. Yeah, we should. I would enjoy that. Justin, you want to come? Uh, That's a no. Um, okay, cool. You can't <laughs> swing it around like that. So. Yeah, you can't right. be I've been to the shooting range it. before. My dad took me once. The one, wait, where? On Long Island? Yeah. In whatever that is? It was in a basement. Oh, uh, we weren't in a basement. No. Oh, yeah, you told me about that. I was like, that's so sketchy. <laughs> like... His dad brings him to a basement to start shooting guns. I'm like, is this legal? I mean, the the, the entrance was on the ground, you know, on the ground, ground floor. floor. Yeah, it's like Breaking Bad. You like all the <laughs> all the cool illegal stuff is downstairs, out of sight. <laughs> when I get, I can't wait to get my pistol license. I still have to find three people to sign a paper. Yeah, but do you know how hard that's going to be in New York State? Yeah, New York holds they, very high. Standards when it comes record. to that, they have very strict gun laws. Yeah, but we can, but we can walk into any gun store right now and buy an AR-15, no problem. Yeah, I know. That's, that's New problem. York for you. I think that's anywhere, to be honest. Well, yeah, but I mean, New York mostly. New York, New York, it's like we hold much higher standards on the pistols than we do on anything else. Because, like, I get, yeah. I get it, concealed carry, but like. You need a reason to get a concealed carry in New York. Yeah, like I know, you, have but... to be a high, you have to be a business owner or a very high profile. Yeah, but still, I mean. Or if somebody's like stalking you, you can they probably give you one. Or if somebody, 
Yeah. Hey, can I get like a concealed carry? Because I think somebody's been following me. Here you go. Yeah, but you can literally have like a shotgun behind your door. Or... Yeah, you can literally go and buy a shotgun right now. Like we can literally end the podcast right now and go get a shotgun if we want to. Well, I don't know about that at this hour, but well, no, but you know what I mean. Like it's possible. Mm-hmm. In Texas, though, in Texas, bro. Texas, if you have you invisible, get... you can hold it. <laughs> like, yeah. if you want to hold a Barrett fifty cal around your back, go nuts. As long as yeah, I if can you want to walk it. down the street with an AR. Or... <laughs> Pennsylvania also has laxed gun laws. Not as lax as Texas. Yeah. Like, uh, literally, Texas, you could walk down the street with a minigun and nobody would question you because it's visible. All automatics are still banned in Texas, but you can't have an automatic. You know what I mean. Nobody would question this, any of it. Yeah, nobody would question it. Hey, Bill. <laughs> Trying to shoot. Hey, Bill. What you got over? What you got on your back right there? <laughs> it's a Gatling gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Oh god. We got we gotta plan a trip to go down there. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I was looking at tickets to Miami. I know it's not Texas, but Miami I would, dude. I would, I would love I dude, I would love to go to Miami and just bar crawl for a weekend. <laughs> Miami's expensive. I know, but like yeah. that, that would be so much fun. So does like it. Anywhere no, you like, go. No, Miami is, like, extremely high. Okay, would you rather go to Miami? So is Atlanta, Barcrow, St. Or would you Louis, to, Chicago. Or would you, Wait, rather go to New, would you rather go to Miami uh-huh. and do a bar crawl for a weekend or New York City and do a bar crawl? New York City. No, you would not. I would. Why? Even though I hate the city, I would definitely still go to New York City in the dead of winter to do a bar crawl then go to Miami. You're out of your mind. Miami's so nice, though. What about Vegas? I might Vegas, be going. I, do. I, I might be do. going. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, with you? I mean, it's up to Bookman's brother, right? Justin, what was Bookman's brother saying about that? About uh, Vegas? Oh, for his birthday. Yes. Yeah, he said for his birthday, we're all going to go to Vegas. And I was like, yes. <laughs> That's that taking be so with fire. I mean, I'm sure if you buy your own ticket and room, they're not going to care if you come or not. (laughs) I don't care. I wouldn't mind. That'd be dope. Honestly, in my opinion, if we're going to go to Vegas, the more the merrier. Because the more people there are, the more fun it's going to be. Yeah, I got to save up if we're going to Vegas, though. Yeah. I'll be out of money in like two seconds. Absolutely. Oh, we were going to go axe throwing this weekend. Yeah. And we didn't get to. Is there axe throwing in New York? Yeah, but uh, it's closer to Queens and Brooklyn. Yeah. There's not, there's, there isn't one on the island. I mean, I wouldn't mind. I mean, as long as it's not like too crazy of a drive. Yeah, I mean, we I could go. Mind. Go next weekend if you want. Next weekend? Hold on. Wait, what's next weekend? Oh, next weekend is that other party we're going to. What other party? We're going to that hyperglow thing, aren't we? I don't know. I didn't sign up for it yet. I didn't either, but I assumed we were going to go. Bookman's going to go and Steve's going to go too. Come on. You know you want to go. Justin, you want to come? When is it? Uh, February 22nd. What time? It's like a night thing. I can look it up right now. We have a basketball game at the start of the night. Okay. It's a party. It's, well, it's, it's a party... I'm not gonna say the town. I'll type it in the in the Discord, just because I don't want it to be out on the right thing. But uh, it's there, so it's it's not like it's gonna end anytime soon. Are the drinks free though? Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna look right now. What is it? It was hyper something to glow, think right? about. If the drinks are free, I'll go. Like hyper- beer, hyperglow. Well, you know damn well if we go, and I buy you around, you're you'll eventually start buying your own uh yeah. it runs from 8 p.m to 1 a.m okay oh wow america's largest glow party yeah uh i'll look into the beer thing while you guys talk about whatever 
Uh, but yeah, I would love to do this. This actually looks kind of fire. That's why I want to. I want to try it at least once. Yeah, oh, high ping. It's all, and it's only twenty dollars to get in. It's a twenty. Oh, twenty. Hold on. Wait a minute. Twenty to fifty dollars per ticket. Why? <laughs> fifty. What's the difference? Squad pack. Get general mission tickets for you and three friends and save. Nineteen fifty plus a seven dollar and thirteen cent fee. Or twenty five dollars for general admission, or fifty dollars and like a ten dollar fee for VIP, which is express entry VIP bag full of hyperglow merchandise, which is a t shirt, LED glow wand, silicone glow band, water bottle, VIP bag, and general admission ticket. That's fifth. That's like sixty dollars. I'm not gonna do that. That's retarded. If it came with free drinks, yeah, I'd buy it. What the fuck? Are you kidding? Okay. <laughs> we might have to all just buy our own general admission unless you guys all want right. to pay me back because uh hey Google what's 107 divided by 4 The answer is 26.75 Unless you guys want to pay me $26.75 each Actually that is cheaper so we might have to do that I'll bet my mm-hmm. Yeah well, we might have to do If that. I decide well, to go I'll, I'll talk to I'll talk to Stephen Bookman because if it's the four of us that's fine, and then Justin, you can just, I guess, I could buy you a ticket. You can then move me back after or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out if you end up going. Mm. Something to think about. Yeah, we'll figure it out. It should be fun. <laughs> it should be fun. We'll see. Um, did anything else exciting happen this weekend? Um. The two lizards tried to fight each other. Oh my god. That was actually really funny though. <laughs> like, yeah, the Peter Dragons went after Martha fucking went after Elton. So this girl Ricky has a bearded dragon named Elton after Elton John. And the kid that we were staying with, Cam, had a bearded dragon named Martha, right? Martha. Martha, yeah. And Martha could not stand the the sight of another bearded dragon in her territory and literally was attempting to leave their leave Cam to try to kill this other bearded dragon. Not kill. Massacre. Massacre, yeah. Massacre is a better word. And then, <laughs> yeah, dude, she was hyping herself up, bobbing her head up and down. Yeah, when they bob their head like up and down, that means they're like getting angry and going to attack. And eventually, Cam put her in her, like, tank. Yeah. And closed it. <laughs> and Elle would walk up to the tank. And stand there for, like, five minutes. Yeah, and, and then just stand there. Away. And Martha would be banging against the glass trying to get out. And then Elle would just walk away. <laughs> it was so yeah. funny. Yeah, and then uh, Drew brought in uh, Dragon. Yep. The other lizard that they the have. The other smaller lizard, yeah. I don't, re- I don't remember what kind of lizard it was. Neither do I. But I've, always kind of, I've always kind of wanted a lizard. Me too. Or like a bearded dragon or something. But the the one that uh, Drew has in his room is going to be up to like three feet, I think. Really? Two and a half to three feet, yeah. Wow. Wow. That's kind of yeah. fire, though. Right? I wouldn't be able to get those with my dog because I feel like it would just kill my dog or attempt to kill my dog. And I love my dog, so it's not happening. Yeah. I could get an enclosure here, but I don't like taking care of animals. If it's a dog, that's fine. I'll just throw down some food and let it out every now and again, but that's about it. Yeah. You have to, especially if you get a puppy, you have to like potty train and everything. Yeah. Yeah. So prepare for a lot of urine on your carpet. I don't have any carpets. So you had a you have a carpet in your? Not anymore. I got rid of them. Oh. Yeah, because I got the fireplace now. I just I just leave it on at night, and it warms up my floor, so this way my feet aren't cold. I see. Nice. I see. Yep. We are warm in Kevin's room. I was cold, dude. My feet dude, were freezing. I was freezing. so I was sweating almost. Dude, I don't know what it was, but I was freezing almost the entire night. 
dude, I was so drunk last night that I didn't want to go get changed. Mm-hmm. So you took off your pants. I so I literally that. just took my jeans off and I went to sleep. I had my, I just had my t-shirt, my sweatshirt, and my underwear on. I went to sleep. I was like, I'm not dealing with it. And then I woke up in the middle of the night. I had to take my sweatshirt off because I was sweating. Mm. What time did we go to bed last night? Like, uh, I don't know. What time did we get back from the bar? Also, we got cheated out of Wendy's. Unbelievable. How? Uh, Tyler and his girlfriend came to pick us up from the bar, Stephanie's, and, uh, we were like, yo, you want to bring us to Wendy's? And she, and she lived dead ass, just drove us to back to the college. Unbelievable. Damn. I was starving. Yeah. We dealt with it, though. I ate the rest of my Doritos. And I left my fucking Cheeto popped up there. Unreal. Along with... Along with the rest of the Coors Light and Labatt. Yeah. To be fair, set. I had eight beers almost in an hour's time. Yeah, before we even went to the bar. <laughs> yeah, and I did not vomit. So, aces. Yeah, well, I had six and then ran <laughs> on a track. <laughs> yeah. And then you had one at the bar, didn't you? I did. I had a Bud Light at the bar. Not a bad okay, and Drew, Drew got something that tasted like a gummy worm or a, one of those gummy snakes. Yeah. It was, it was actually really good, but it was way too sugary for me. Do you remember what it was? I have no idea what was in it. There's like eight different alcohol, eight oh. different types of alcohol. Oh, no, yeah. I can't deal with that. He called, It was a trash can, he said. I remember. Hold on. I'll look it up. I remember, I remember him saying that. A trash can is... Uh, Vodka, no. white rum, gin, triple sec. Thank you. Blue, blue uh, Chiricano liquor. And Let's one see. can of Red Bull. I see. It, it looks so good. The color on it is amazing. Yeah. It's, like a, it's like a nice greenish blue. It's bright. It looks really good. It looked like a gummy worm threw up in the drink, bro. It really does look like that. Next time. And uh, Kevin got a rum and coke. <laughs> we should have ordered a blowjob. Oh, yeah. What is that? What's in that? I forgot. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't remember. What about a, I'll what about a car bomb? No. Wasn't doing a car bomb. Justin, did you try a car bomb? No. My uncle on my birthday wanted to see if I wanted to try it. I don't know if you remember that. I do. I wasn't sure if you ever tried it. Well, job I is. No, I ended up amaretto, never trying it. Uh, half an ounce of amaretto liquor, hmm. a fifth of Irish cream liquor, and whipped cream. I see. Yeah, and you put the whipped cream in like a shot glass, right? And you drop it in. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's it's literally a shot. Oh, is it? Yeah. I thought I thought, it, I thought it was like one of those things where you like a like a car bomb where you drop it no. in. No. Remember, he ordered the cum shot for that guy. He tried to get him killed. Oh, in uh, Deadpool. Yeah. Yeah, I thought. I don't know why I thought. Uh... It was one of those things you drop in. No, that's the car bomb you drop. Car in. bomb, yeah, I know. And what's the other one with the? Um, Jaeger, Jaeger bomb. Jaeger bomb. What is that? Jaegermeister. Yeah, but there's a Jaeger bomb. It's like an. It's like another. It, it's like a car bomb, isn't it? Uh, sort of. I'm looking it up. I got it. Bigger bomb. I got it already. Or do I? Pour an energy drink into a pint glass. Pour the Jägermeister into a shot glass. Make a toast and drop the shot into the glass, pint glass. Into the pint glass. I knew there had to be Jägermeister in there. Well, obviously, but we didn't know what it, what the Jäger bomb yeah, consisted so of. Other than the Jäger. A, basically, a full can of Red Bull and... <laughs> and Jägermeister. A shot of Jägermeister. Yeah. 
I'm surprised I didn't have to take a shot this weekend. <laughs> I'm kind of thankful. I, I did, unfortunately. Was it during For the uh, Jenga? Yeah. Dude, dude <laughs> I got that the was... thing where you hit the Helen Keller twice. Yeah, okay. I know. And you so, guessed right. And you I didn't even know the guy, time. Josh. I know. But I felt like his movement was too quick, and Josh is a giddy kind of guy. Yeah. But I, the thing that threw me off was he has some stubble. Yeah. And if you look at him, you wouldn't be able to tell that. Yeah. Unless you feel his face. <laughs> so before yeah. I go any further, let me explain this. So this the girl Ricky made this game of Jenga where you um, each piece that you pull, there's like a challenge on it that you have to do. Oh, oh I've heard of those. So the one that I got that we're referring to is called Helen Keller. So you close your eyes. And you stick your hand out and you feel somebody's face and you don't know who it is. And you have to guess whose face it was. And if you get it wrong, you have to take a shot of whatever is there. But if you get it right, you don't have to. So the first time it was Kevin. And he said he felt bad or whatever because I don't know anybody. Mm-hmm. And then the second time it was Josh, this other kid that I had just met. And everybody freaked out when I got it right. I, it was, I was stuck between Josh and Drew, but I, I felt like... it wasn't drew and i was obviously right but yeah that was funny that was a lot of fun yeah and then there should have been there should have definitely been more strip tiles in there oh yeah there was only one strip tile out of the entire jenga set dude that's kind of whack how many pieces are in a jenga set like 35 like (laughs) three it's rows of three how many rows of three uh, like seven or eight 30 to 36 i think uh, we could look. I just look it up. I got it already. I spelled Jenga wrong. Hmm. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Fifty four. <laughs> Fifty four blocks. So we were uh, a little off. <laughs> Dude, giant Jenga is fucking ninety nine dollars. No thanks. That's retarded. You want to get it? I kind of do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I, I know. That's the sad part. <laughs> well, it's okay. free shipping. I would hope. <laughs> You're paying $99 for a game of Jenga. It better be free shipping. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, man. Games to play. What are you looking up? Games to play when you're drunk. <laughs> I, I, oh, I thought boy. so. Have you ever played a drinking game called Hot Seat or Kings? Kings, yes. No, no I've never played either. Kings is uh, you put a card into like a beer can, okay. like where the tab is, and when it pops, then whoever put the card in last has to drink the whole can. Oh, that's not the version of Kings that I played. Hold on, time okay. out. Justin played a drinking game? <laughs> that was at New Year's. <laughs> um, oh, what was I going to say? Oh, I told Kevin this. He, he, you might have heard me because he was laughing hysterical. This was during the game of uh, Flip Cup. Actually, it was immediately after the last game of Flip Cup. Do you would you believe me if I told you that that was my first time playing like actual flip cup? Actual, hmm. cup? yeah, like with teams and everything, not just like flipping a cup. Gotcha. Like, like the whole, you know, go in a line, drink, flip the cup. Yeah, that was my first time ever playing that. <laughs> would wow. you believe me if I told you that? No, Justin, I understand what you're talking about with the kings. There's a bunch of rules, and I didn't feel like explaining them. <laughs> Yeah, it, you like have a each, deck of cards, yeah, and each, each card does something. Yeah. And you really have to look up the, the, the rules to understand how to play, because nobody nobody's going to understand what 12 rules are. Yeah. I mean, 14. No. I was right. I was right, 13, 12, whatever. Uh, never have I ever. Drinking games, drunk Jenga. Oh! Oh! Ricky, you literally stole it right off right off the internet. Did you actually? <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at it right now. 
Do you think she's actually yeah. going to make us one? I really hope so. I hope so, too. Because that was fun. It really was. There's, there's one called... Early. There's there's one called In My Butt. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, boy. Yeah. In My Butt. You want to explain it's, it? I have no idea what it is. I... I don't know what it does. Oh, I figured you're reading about it. No, I'm literally looking at a bunch of at a picture with a bunch of t- uh, things written on them on ta- on Jenga blocks. It goes water under uh, waterfall, truth to dare, social uh, partners, skip, never have I ever or have I ever the X through it, so it's a double negative. Story nose goes uh, lurch, nameless. Uh, s- something on the floor. I can't read the first one. S- uh, something in my butt. Give three, <laughs> give five, give seven. Beer wench. Rookie zones out. Uh, new rule, sex positions. Hand switch. Uh, truth or dare. Truth or uh, prison, I guess that is. Uh, skip again. Little man. Fuck jar. <laughs> what? Bathroom key, social, never have I ever again. Waterfall categories, hello fat ass. Lauren starts. <laughs> to... <laughs> I didn't know there clean. was a drinking game called Hello Fat Ass. Like, no, it's the... part of the Jenga set. No, you it's part of the it Jenga set. Oh, yeah, the, the things you write I on the Jenga part. Set. Yeah, uh, thumb master, which I'm assuming is just thumb more. Dicks, athletes, chicks, uh, picture of a mustache. Uh, do over, master, oh, my connection's gone. eye for eye. Uh, sh- I have no idea how to pronounce that. Aaron looks in uh, a mirror. Okay. Ter- uh, Teresa laughs at own joke. Alpha change, non athletes. Uh, Ellie plays with a sh- with a shake. I don't know, accent. Jessica plays with her nose ring and beer wench again. So she didn't really steal it from online because the ones that we had were... Oh, no, she, she made her own, but she, uh, you know. Oh, uh, we didn't play Drunk Uno. No, we did not, which I'm very upset about because which, I really wanted to piss Drew off again. It's, it's, it's a good thing, though, because I get way too competitive. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I've seen it even on PSN. Like, holy shit! I'm here to win, boys. I'm here to win. There was one time where Alex and I beat you, and oh, I flipped out. You guys sabotaged me. Well, not only me. that, you were streaming, and you just ended the stream without saying goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I left. I was so Alex mad. was laughing so hard. I was done, dude. I was done. Yeah, I, was I can't over remember it. which pack it was, but I think it might have been Raymond. It ab- absolutely was. Or Rabbids. One of the two. Yeah, it's always the Raymond one that pisses you yeah. off. <laughs> Tell me how stupid this is. There's a okay. game called Bite the Bag. Right? Yeah. You keep a bag on the ground and take turns to lean and pick it up using only your mouth. Mind you, no hands allowed. If you can pick the bag, if you can't pick the bag, you have to drink. Each round passes. An inch of the bag is chopped. And this goes on for as many rounds till only the bottom of the bag is left. So the bag gets shorter and shorter. Hmm. What? Wh- why is it a game? <laughs> because it's, I guess you're drunk already and you fall over trying to pick up the bag. So I guess it's funny when you watch people fall. I, don't know. I guess, but... It doesn't make any sense. No, it really doesn't. Damn it. <sighs> oh, 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 before I forget. That Rinks concert last weekend, though. Yo. Yeah, that was fun. Justin, you haven't spoken in a lot. Would you like to tell some stories from that night? Hmm. <laughs> Other than you and uh, Angelo getting drunk, woo <laughs> woo. And Kenny are together. We usually always get drunk. So yeah, we're usually the ones that do the do the work for the for the others. 
Dude, we have to hold the Beer Olympics next year. I mean, this summer. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> where? I'm down. Oh, jeez. My where. is going again. My my place isn't big enough, and I have people upstairs. I don't have... I don't think... My backyard is... I have a decent-sized backyard, but not big enough for a Beer Olympics. I don't know where we could have it. Andy's backyard? Maybe. <laughs> His might work. If I if it was my old house. Oh yeah, your old there. house would be perfect. Yeah, but <laughs> let's go. But my knock parents on had the to door. go and fucking sell it. Knock on the door and be like, "Hey, I used to live here. Can we have? Can we hold a beer Olympics in your backyard, please?" <laughs> <laughs> Justin, you're participating whether you like it or not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to. No choice. It's so much fun. Yeah. Oh, anyway, back to the. The Rinks concert. Yeah. Yep. When we, we had to get offline and <laughs> get money. And Andy was supposed to Andy and Justin oh, were supposed yeah. to be holding our place in okay, line. Before you continue and Justin with that, gets off we were, to go to the bathroom. We were supposed we so we were all getting merch. We were all getting well not all of us, Justin didn't want. Andy was getting a t shirt, Angela and I were getting hoodies, and the credit card machine broke, so they said cash only. So we're like, Alright, Andy, hold the line for us. Angela and I are gonna go downstairs and get cash from the ATM. Come back up. Andy's off the line and Justin walked past us on the way da- on the way up. On our way back up, he walked past us to go to the bathroom. And Andy's standing off the line. What do you <laughs> want me to do? Wait and hold up the line? Yes. Yes, that's exactly what we wanted. You pretend you don't know what you want, like you weren't looking. <laughs> am I am I the only one that thinks like that? Uh, that would have pissed a lot of people off, though, and I guess he was afraid of doing that. So what? We live in New York. Everybody's pissed off about something. That is true. <laughs> I'm pissed off because you're pissed oh. off. People, dude. Oh, yeah. The Rinks concert was... Uh, That was my first concert that had, like... That was your first concert? Like, it was really loud. I don't know if... Oh, yeah, uh, dude. It was so loud in there. Yeah. Yeah. I did go to another type of concert, but it was like Boston Pops Orchestra, and it was Bugs Bunny at the Symphony. That's not a concert. That's like a show. By the way, by the way, we did have this discussion already, but I'm going to tell you right now, on Thursday, we did this for about 45 minutes, then I realized I wasn't recording. (laughs) <laughs> and the footage was lost. And the footage, there was no footage. So here we are on a Sunday night. I'm gonna have to upload this like pretty much right as we finish. And you guys want to play Call of Duty when we're done? Absolutely. Mm, not tonight. Unreal. Oh, like Spider. I absolutely play. want to play Call of Duty. I'll see if Spider wants to play. I'll play tomorrow night though. <laughs> oh, uh, it's too late. It's yeah, it's gonna be too late, dude. <laughs> Miss, no, you miss your I'll, chance. I'll, I'll play tomorrow. <laughs> Probably, most likely, if I'm not exhausted and sleeping. Um, but yeah, that rings concert was. We literally shook the building so much that we started unplugging some of his stuff. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the vibrations ended up doing that. He was like, "Yeah, I don't think this building was meant for that." <laughs> Yeah, no, definitely not. We almost shook the roof off of the building. Yeah, he he still posted stuff from Brooklyn. Like, I think that was his favorite venue, and it was his best venue. Yeah, the Malibu. <laughs> the one of the we met Malibu, who performed before him, and he said that we were the loudest. Like he, uh, somebody else asked him which show was the loudest, as we were going to take a picture with him, and he said that we were by far so far. Because after that, he still had Toronto. But I guess Toronto wasn't as loud because he's still posting about Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I hope he comes back one day. Both of them. All three of them, actually. I think Excerpt is from New York, though. Mm. So, Excerpt is another EDM artist. And then uh, he started. And then Malibu was on after him. And then Rinks came on. So... I would love to see all three of them in a show together again at some point. If not together, then in general, because they were really good. Uh, 
Yeah, it was fun times. Yeah, good times. Uh, we gotta do more stuff like that. Absolutely. It's just, you know, money is... <laughs> yeah, money dude, is I literally had yeah. $4 yeah. Dollars in my bank account on the way back. Yeah, I know. Which is unfortunate. Yeah, I started. I I got paid on Friday. Literally got paid a thousand dollars. Put five. Put six hundred away. And and this weekend was down to four dollars in no time. Yeah, I had cash on me, thankfully. So, I got to I got to pay. Most of my stuff was with cash. Yeah. Thankfully, I don't have to use my card too much. I don't think. I really didn't spend too much this weekend. No. No, we didn't spend a lot. Well, you didn't. You did. Yeah, I spent way too much money. Uh, you really did. <laughs> Would you say you had, you had. You put 600 away, so you went from 400 to 4? Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> And now you have to survive on four dollars for how long? Well, no, I took I took another hundred out and okay. put it into my regular account. This way, I could survive the the next two weeks. Oh, that's right. You get paid biweekly. Mm-hmm. Yikes! That sucks. So, yikes! I have to, I'm gonna have to learn how to survive. <laughs> I'm gonna have to learn how to survive. You have a girlfriend? Maybe she'll pay for some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh, jokes. Funny story. Oh, man. Imagine men not having to pay for everything. (laughs) 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 Jokes are real. Hilarious. Oh, man. (sighs) Damn it. I'm tired. What? Playing Minesweeper. (laughs) (laughs) first time on the podcast is so bored that he's playing Minesweeper. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we can wrap it up in a little bit. I mean, we've been going for a little over an hour. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What about the the water balloon fight your senior year? Oh, that's right. I didn't get to tell that story on the last podcast. Thank you so much for reminding me. Yeah. So, <laughs> I literally just remembered. So we... Uh, our senior class every year in high school would have a water balloon fight on like one of the last days of school, if not the last. I don't remember. And you know, it's funny. We were literally just talking about this today. Yeah. With, uh, with Kevin. Um, so usually the water balloon fight is held at in the senior parking lot at our school. Mm-hmm. But the uh, girl in the grade that graduated the year before us fell. What was it? Fell off the hood of a car or. Out the back of a truck or something? Out the back of the truck. Yeah, and like split her head open. Yeah, she was not kidding. Real retarded. Yeah. So, so, so uh, we couldn't do it there anymore. And we had who like the principal and the deans and everything were in the parking lot. Something like that. So we were like, "All right, fine. We can't do it here. We'll do it in the church parking lot right down the street." So we did, and we. I was in the bed of one of my friend's trucks with two other people and uh, eventually it start. it didn't start out with everybody driving around or like some people driving around. It started out the normal and then we all kind of started, follow, they all start, started to follow our lead yeah. and um, by the time we were done, like by the time we were out of water balloons, we drove up behind this kid's brand new 2015 we graduated in 2016 his 2015 white camaro and with the cooler of water from you know holding all the water balloons dumped it in his car because he had his windows open because we didn't like him so (laughs) and then we (laughs) tailed off (laughs) and then after a little while uh there was everybody was screaming that the cops are coming somebody called the cops so we all had to bail we were in the chart you guys were in the church parking lot yeah, I said that. I know. That's why the people called the cops, though. That's well, I yeah, I know. but <laughs> Yeah, they uh, called the cops on us, and we had to dip, but we dipped. We made it out alive. 
Good for you guys. Uh, you didn't go? No, I wasn't there. Why not? Uh, I think I had... Oh, where was I? Oh, I had... Uh, I was in track and football and whatever. Oh. Uh, that time of year would have been track. Yeah. Or cross country or whatever. I don't know the season. Either way. It was busy. I Either had way, it to... wasn't there. Unfortunate. Unlucky. Because it was awesome. Yeah. Very unlucky for you guys. Why? Because I said so. Oh. Uh, I was going to say the cops were called, but we didn't get in trouble. Well, I mean, I didn't get in trouble. I don't know if anybody got in trouble. Did everybody walk at our graduation? Do you remember? Uh, uh, I don't. Some think... people chose not to walk. Yeah, I don't, don't know who. Though. Say any last names, obviously, but I don't remember anybody not being there. I also wasn't friends with a whole lot of people, so I really didn't notice if anybody right. was missing. I didn't much care if anybody was missing. Yeah, neither did I. It's whatever. You yeah. don't want to walk. You don't want to walk. That's all. That's all. That's all, bro. That's all, bro. That's it. That's it. Done. Kaput. Duty. Dunzo. No, no more. No more. No more. That's it. <laughs> Kaput. Kaput. Stugats. Nada. <laughs> you got the Stugats. Forget about. Forget about. Dude, I'm so mad. So, <laughs> so when you when you leave Brooklyn to like leave New York and then come back into Brooklyn, there's a sign that literally says, "Forget about it." If I remember, I'll put a graphic on the screen. <laughs> but we saw it leaving because we forgot that it's there. We saw it leaving New York. We we're like, "Oh my god, the forget about it sign!" And we're coming yeah. back, and we're like, "Oh, we got to get a picture of the sign." So, Angelo, I was driving. Angelo was literally just holding his phone up against the windshield, ready to take this picture. And we drive past the sign coming out of Staten Island back into Brooklyn. And it says, what did it say? Oh, it said, welcome to Brooklyn. Oh, how nice it is. <laughs> I was like, forget about it. Where, where, where is it? <laughs> <laughs> so I... I don't. I was gonna say. I guess maybe we're remembering it wrong that it's only leaving the city. But I swear to God, I remember. It coming I thought on the way so back. too. I swear we saw it on the way back last time, coming from Pennsylvania again from my tryout, my my uh, quote unquote professional tryout, <laughs> my quote unquote pro ice hockey tryout. Uh, it's whatever. Forget about it. Forget about it. <laughs> uh, all right. Anything else, or are we done here? I right, have nothing else to you, talk bro. about. You're running the show. I am running the show. You're right, dude. But I don't have anything else, which is why I was throwing it on you guys. Yeah, well, deal with it. Whatever, dude. Fucking. So that's nothing from Angelo, I assume. Justin. Toss it on you, bro. Yeah, I got nothing. All right, well, I guess that's it then, so. Brett. 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 <laughs> Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye. Later. That was gross.